uh, in last video uh, we saw how to open a canoe configuration using pycanoe uh, package and also we saw how to start the measurement canoe measurement also we saw how to stop a measurement and to close canoe configuration okay in this video we will see how to get a signal value okay and how to set a signal value okay so let's go back to our canoe uh, pycanoe python script okay let's uh, use the function from this example Once the measurement is started, we want to read the value of the signal flashlight. Okay, so this flashlight uh, signal is part of this demo configuration. So I'm using the same signal here, and uh, uh, to get a signal value. Um, there is a method called get signal value and if you see the documentation of the signal value uh, first argument is uh, first parameter which we need to pass is bus um, so which type of bus we are using or uh, where that signal whatever we are trying to read is part of which bus so the bus types can be can lin x-ray most aftx ethernet right now for our demo purpose we are using can signal okay so that's why can is mentioned here and the second param uh, parameter which we need to pass is the channel number um, so here uh, we are using channel one so on channel one this flashlight signal is sent that's why uh, i am using one as an argument um, and the third parameter is message uh, which is the name of the message this signal belongs to and the fourth argument is your signal name itself um, so you need to pass a signal name as a fourth argument so once all the four arguments are passed uh, the fifth argument is optional which is raw value so if the uh, if you wanted to um, Return a raw value, okay. Then you can mention this raw value parameter as true, okay. So then whatever uh, raw signal available uh, for that signal will be uh, reverted back uh, from Kenoi. So if by default it is false, which means uh, the value which we are trying to read is a physical value, okay now let's try to read this value and uh, print it okay once it is printed what we will do maybe let's name it here as light value equal to uh, the return value okay now once the value is read now what we will do we will try to set a value to this flashlight signal okay now so to set a value method is set signal value okay so sorry set signal value okay if you see the documentation for set signal value uh, all the parameters will be same uh, extra parameter is this value parameter uh, which is the value of the signal let's try to set it to one value one and uh, yeah 
after setting the value we will try to read it back again maybe we will wait for 0 0.5 seconds before reading the value back again okay if it is a cyclic message uh, of one second then the wait time should be more than one second or else you are reading a value which is not yet transmitted on canvas so the previous value will be read okay so for this i think uh, let's wait for 1.5 seconds i don't think so the message cycle time is more than one here in this case yeah once the value after change maybe here we will print it as before change let's wait for the canary configuration to open See, it is opening here already. Measurement is started. So you can see it here. Flash light value before changing is 0. And after change it is 1. Okay, it means the value is set to 1. Okay. So that's it for... Uh, this video uh, in next video we will see how to uh, set a system variable and also how to read a system variable okay thank you